Hi, welcome to Chris Cook for you too. Have I got a great recipe for you today? All right, so here's what we're going to be making. We're going to make a fast version of caramel corn. So if you got popcorn, it's movie night, and you want to be versatile with this thing, you can make popcorn and caramel corn here's what you're gonna need now i have this this is my popcorn maker it's a silicone popcorn maker but this is the best popcorn maker i don't even use i have a floor one but i don't even use it because i like this one so so much and this one sold on amazon i think it was like four or five dollars it was something like that this one is by Craslin, but I mean, you can get them by, they're like three or four different companies online and sell it if you should choose it. So what you're going to need is actually the caramels. You can use Werther's or any kind of caramel that you want to use. I'm using C's. I'm not plugging them, but they have the best candy out here when it comes to chocolates and it comes to caramel. So I'm going to put in about five of these little caramels or caramels, whichever one you want to call it. And then I'm going to put in a small pad of butter. This is about a tablespoon of butter. I'm going to drop that in. And on top of that, I'm going to go ahead and put in my kernels. And I'm going to put the top on this. And I'm going to stick it in my microwave. That's all it is to it. Put it up in my wall, my microwave. And I'm going to let this pop. I think I'm going to put this on 315. Sometimes um, it pops. Depending on how much popcorn you have in there, it'll pop it all. And sometimes you may have a couple of kernels that don't pop. But mainly what I'm trying to do, regardless as to what you put your microwave on. Or if you just put it on the popcorn setting. Because I do have just the popcorn setting, but it always under pops. So no matter what you put your microwave on, whatever you pop at, just make sure that you have a small pad of butter and you have inside of there your popcorn and your caramels. So we're going to do this real quick. Shouldn't take but about, like I said, whatever it takes to pop the popcorn. And that's going to be it. But I think if you try that little silicone popcorn maker, you will not be disappointed. Now, normally when you make popcorn in it, you don't need to add any um, butter or any oil to it. You just put your popcorn in the bottom and you go ahead and pop it off. But the reason why I put the butter in there is because I want to have the buttery caramel flavor on the popcorn. So I don't just want it to be caramel. I want it to be caramel and butter as well. This is a good treat when you're having like uh, a movie night and say you're going to have a lot of different um, a variety of items that you're going to be snacking on. Or it's just good if you just want to do popcorn. I mean, it's just good that night. Whenever you having, um, whenever you're having movie night or whether you just have a taste for some popcorn, this is a fast, good way to make caramel corn. And it is truly, truly an awesome taste and flavor you're going to get from this. So we're going to let this pop off and then um, we're going to see what it looks like. But I think you try it, you will not be disappointed. And this saves you from having to go in through the process of heating and cooking the uh, caramel on the stove and then turning it around and pouring it all over the popcorn. You don't really need to do that because everything is going to be done in this one container. Now, you can also, if you want chocolate popcorn, you can also do it with chocolates. But you can use any kind of caramel or chocolates, especially if it's the little uh, block kind. Um, not if it's, if it's like the little uh, caramels that you get like uh, a little small square anything like that it would be really really good and only use like four or five depending on how much popcorn uh you're trying to pop off with it or how much caramel corn you're actually trying to make so i think this is almost popped up so i'm gonna give it just a couple more seconds and then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna take it out now i'm stopping my popcorn before the um 
Well, I just wait and then just let it go ahead and pop out. I was going to stop it, but I'll just let it pop out. Okay, now it's popped. Go ahead and open it. And take it out. And there it is. And it's hot. Ooh. Don't want to drop any. It's hot. But this is so, so good. So if you have a taste for uh, caramel corn or caramel corn, you don't need to go out to the store and buy it. Just make it yourself. All you need is a little bit of butter. You need some popcorn. And, of course, you need just the container and the caramels. Okay? So that's what I have for you today. Chris is making caramel corn. And as always, thank you for watching. Chris cook for you too. And wait until it gets cool before you decide to eat it because it's super, super hot. Bye. Please follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Chris cook for you too. And don't forget to share this video. Bye.